With Mike Baird and Gladys Berejiklian get their way, this could be one of the last trains out of Newcastle Station ever. In theory, the last train will run on Christmas Day. But there are a large number of groups opposing the closure of the rail. And today, the Hutter region concerned citizens held a smoking ceremony on traditional Awabakal land just opposite the Newcastle railway station. As you can see, the land is a developer's paradise. If the government gets its way, it will convert a 7 minute train trip from Newcastle to Hamilton into a 20 minute bus trip plus 5 or 10 minutes at the other end to change over. If these people had their way, the trains would never stop. The smoking ceremony was conducted by Bill Smith, assisted by his son Edward. Bill actually built much of the rail line that is in around Newcastle railway station. The rail line is a safe passage for all people and belongs to all of us. We must stand as one and join hands regardless of race, colour or creed to defend this important link and keep it in place for future generations, said Mr Smith. Save our rail! Save our rail! Save our city! Save our city! Stop the chop! Stop the chop! Save our rail! Save our rail! Save the city! Save the city! Stop the chop! Stop the chop! Save our rail! Save our rail! Save our city! Save our city! Stop the chop! Stop the chop! I know that, but you did good. Good job. I don't know. So whether the smoking ceremony worked or not, we need to consider the history of Newcastle Rail. It is on the traditional lands of the Awabakal people. It has been in Newcastle for 154 years. It has heritage values. Plus, it's also a very, very useful way of getting from Newcastle to the rest of Australia. On Tuesday, in the Supreme Court of New South Wales, in front of Justice Michael Adams, an injunction will be heard to prevent the New South Wales government closing down the rail. Of course, we await the outcome with incredible anticipation. Peter Dean, save Newcastle. It'll be landscaped, but there may be a coffee shop or two. Construction of any sort along the heavy rail corridor um, just won't happen. Reality of it is there is gaps across the public domain area. It makes sense to fill those gaps in with further, further development.